Hey everybody, Ben with Classic Firearms here. Today is Monday, October the 23rd, and we have an unveil for you today, for folks, on some uh, military surplus pistols. Before we get into that though, let me remind you about our BM-59 drawing. The folks that follow such things for us here, folks, are telling us that the response to this BM-59 giveaway has been incredible. We got a little bit of time left to sign up, but you certainly can't win one unless you sign up. Now there's a link right up here in the corner of the screen. Just go there to sign up and you may be the lucky winner. Let me set this aside and we'll show you what we got for you today. Dylan's running the camera. Folks, we've got a treat for you. Whenever we get something in, we haven't broken into it yet, we like for you to see it just as we're seeing it. So we're gonna open this up. What we have for you today is some M70A Takarov pistols. Like I said, Dylan's running the camera. Dylan, let's see if we can get some of the shrink wrap off of here and look at these bad boys and see how they're, uh, see how they're packed and what kind of condition they came in. You know what, Dylan? I see that I didn't come prepared to complete this video. If these were plastic straps, oops, and maybe they are. Maybe they are. Let's see. Plastic straps. We're good. I thought that was steel straps. I was going to take a break and get some side cutters, but maybe my knife will take care of that. Come on in here, Dylan. Let's take a look. Let me get the, uh, the hinges open on this thing. We're going to look at some M70A. Yugoslav Takarovs. This is our first crate, folks. There are some surprises in here I see now. I was expecting everything here to be a black pistol. I see that the vast majority of them are, but I do see some grip changes. I do see a couple that are in custom finishes. We will probably hold these out until the last when we get a count on them, and then we will sell these as something separate. You never know when you're buying off police military trade-ins exactly what you're going to get because you never know how the officer or the troop had his particular pistol dressed up. But for today, we're going to concentrate on the black ones, which is what we were expecting. And from what I see here, we have some pretty nice M70 Takarovs there. There are a few things I like about the M70s. Number one, they have Zastava quality because they are Yugoslavian made. Everybody knows the fame of the Zastava factory in the former Yugoslavia. Number two, I like the way that they have installed the safeties. I don't know if everyone knows this or not, but before surplus military firearms can be imported into the country, if they do not have a safety, our import regulations say that a safety must be added. Now in this case, they've added a safety to the slide and it is a trigger block safety so that works really well see real red shoot dead and they appear to have done a good job on them and the other thing i like about uh, the m70a version is rather than a standard nine round magazine these all come excuse me a standard eight round magazine which most takarovs have these come with a nine round magazine so you get one extra round of firepower in the M70A version. Dylan, that's a good one to look at. That is a beautiful pistol. I would consider that a hand select. You see how they come to us, folks, in the crates. So they do have some rub wear and that type of thing, and you're gonna see some that aren't quite the condition of others. I see more holster wear on this one. This would be more of a standard grade. But certainly, if you want a hand select, we will have an option for hand select. Dylan, let me see. Just keep the camera running. I'm gonna see if I can move this crate back. We'll go into the front crate there and see what we have in that one so everybody can see a good representation. And then we'll call it a day. This crate's a little different. It only had two hinges on it. The other one had three. Here we go. Trying to get that lid to sit up out of the way. I don't know if I'm going to be successful. This one actually has a few chrome versions in it. Again, those are not typical. The typical will be the black. So we will segregate the chromes and come back to them whenever we know how many we have and possibly offer those up as an option. 
but for your standard black in 70s i would say that would be a standard grade standard grade and possibly a hand select i see some really nice ones over there in that corner i hate to have my back to the camera dylan we didn't plan this very well did we <laughs> but folks for the most part i think you see what we've got very nice this particular Takarov is a nine millimeter a standard nine millimeter luger or parabellum so you can get inexpensive very available ammo for it it's a great size in that it's flat so it's great for for concealed carry even though it is considered a full-size pistol you do have your safety you do have your mag release button so it's not the old antiquated release from the bottom type thing it's all one-handed slides appear to be very smooth overall very nice group of Takarovs folks these just came in we don't even have a price set on them that i know of but they are going to be in today's e-blast and certainly when you go to the ad at which uh, the email has a link to the ad go straight to it and you can see the price and i know we're going to have them at a great price and certainly a great little pistol folks if you like our emails and want them to come directly to you there's going to be a button right here beside me just click on that and you can sign up for our emails otherwise thank you for watching God bless. We appreciate your business. And as always, come see us at ClassicFirearms.com.